Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Lush Gardner. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. Uh, so I had a question related to uh, how to make an arrangement with colorful succulents. Now, unfortunately, I won't be making any arrangement in this video, but I'll just talk about it because I do not want to take them out from the pot to make an arrangement. But I'll just talk about it. Uh, now, as we all know, we need to segregate the succulents as per the dormancy and non-dormancy, especially if you are into uh, fertilizing your succulents. Now, I don't add any nutrients, so uh, the dormancy and the non-dormancy does not play a very important role for me because I do not add fertilizers, whether it's in its growing period or it's in its dormant period. But if you are a person who tends to use fertilizers, uh, then yes, you'll have to segregate your succulents based on your dormancy and non-dormancy. But this does not apply for people who grow their succulents indoor under grow light. You can make your arrangement just like me. You can mix and match your succulents. You can put your echuarias with sedums or echuarias with the patchophytums or graptopetalums or graptovarias, graptosedums. You can mix everything because indoor uh, the dormancy and the non-dormancy is not going to affect. But uh, there's a lot of confusion about full sun and part sun. Now, don't be worried, guys. Full sun and part sun is not much of an issue as long as you are giving a good amount of morning direct sunlight for five to six hours. After uh, six hours, if the succulent is getting indirect bright light, it's absolutely fine. Your succulents will still remain colored. As you can see, this spot where I have kept these succulents, you can see they are very colorful. The reason behind that is so uh, this is where the sun rises this is the east so as soon as the sun tends to rise uh, right behind the building that's where it is going to rise and then the sun will slowly start climbing as the day progresses now as the sun starts to rise as we all know it starts getting warmer as we get into the afternoon climate so until here i'm going to show you this spot now this is the uh, a paraffin or I would say this is the roof over here so until it touches this roof it's almost 12 noon and automatically after which the Sun tends to move behind us so what happens over here is once the Sun moves over here behind this it uh, completely uh, cuts down on the direct sunlight and then my succulents only get indirect bright light so you can see over here I do not need to do much now you can see it's almost uh, 2 in the afternoon and the sun has uh, completely passed through this uh, phase or has completely passed over it so now uh, it is completely you know shaded off so the succulents are just below it over here so the succulents are just below over here now this works out really well for me because as you can see I do not need to move my succulents I have spoken about this earlier as well the more you move your succulents the more it's going to hamper their growth so here you can see automatically without moving the succulents, they just get their morning direct sunlight after which they uh, get indirect bright light because the sun then goes behind the roof and it gets indirect bright light. So basically over here it is all automatic. I do not have to put in any efforts. All I have to do is just water them as and when the soil is completely bone dry. But everything is taken care by nature. So it gets a good amount of morning direct sunlight for 5 to 6 hours. Uh, let's say until 11 12 and once uh, it's almost 11 12 uh, the Sun tends to get blocked by the uh, roof due to which there is only indirect bright light there is no direct afternoon sunlight due to which my succulents have got this beautiful color because they're only receiving morning direct sunlight for five to six hours post which they get indirect bright light so basically in other words there is light like throughout the day until the sun sets there is a good amount of indirect bright light but the most important part which is the morning sunlight they tend to get a good amount of light so if you are creating an arrangement uh, if you have already sorted out dormancy and non-dormancy this is for people who are growing the succulents outdoor I have already put the dormancy table in the description you can check it out and you can segregate your succulents according to that and when it comes to morning sunlight please don't be worried about part sun or partial shade uh, as long as your succulents are getting that morning direct sunlight for five to six hours after acclimating it uh, your succulents are good to go now how do you determine uh, whether the succulents would uh, be happy in direct sunlight morning sunlight that answer you are going to get from your succulents the succulents that are brightly colored like you can see my sedum adolfi my uh, sedum golden glow crassula red pagoda and then i have a patchophytum uh, patchophytum powder or patchoveria powder puff 
So these all you can put them together because they are very brightly colored. Whereas these over here that you're seeing, uh, this is the HO areas that I have over here. They are also getting a good amount of light, morning light. So you can see the colors are absolutely beautiful on them. So these tend to receive the good amount of morning direct sunlight. Now I am not much of a person who tends to create uh, uh, arrangements. I prefer to keep them in single pots because it becomes much easy to uh, take care of them and it becomes much easy to handle them. And I do not need to keep moving them. So I usually plant them in individual pots uh, depending upon their uh, variety. Now over here I'm just keeping a sedum golden glow in one pot, a sedum adolfi in one pot. Uh, my compactum in one pot, powder puff in one pot. So I prefer to keep them uh, in single pots. But again, it's up to you if you want to make an arrangement. All the succulents that have these really bright colors will do excellent in morning direct sunlight for five to six hours. Don't be worried about the partial shade. As long as you are uh, giving them that five to six hours of morning sunlight, that is absolutely fine. Apart from that, Havartiyas, uh, then you have these Krasula Muskoska. It is not placed over here. I have just kept it over here for the video uh, because this is kept in indirect bright light. I do not expose it to direct sunlight. This is just for the video. So I have my Krasula Muskoska. Now this does not change color. Havartiyas do not change color. So do not mix them with brightly colored succulents. So when you are making an arrangement, try to go for uh, succulents that have really, really strong bright colors because they will be able to handle the sunlight whereas uh, the Havartiyas and uh, the Muskoskas now Havartiyas will not change the color so it's pretty simple any succulent that does not change color from green to any other color and they stay green throughout the year please do not expose them to direct sunlight so I would say you can use any succulent in your uh, arrangement as long as they're not green in color as long as they do not change the color do not mix them with your brightly colored succulents because uh, Havartiyas will not do quite well in more Morning direct sunlight for five to six hours they will start to turn brown and your arrangement will start falling apart most probably you will have to take out the green colored succulent so when you're making an arrangement ensure that you check uh, if you're confused you always have google you can check you can just put the name uh, in google and check what exactly does the succulent look like there are going to be thousands of pictures and you will be able to determine whether the succulent changes its color or not uh, havartias do not change their colors uh, sedums will change the color when they get good amount of light a uh, powder puff will be able to handle a good amount of morning direct sunlight for five to six hours because it has very bright blue color with a lot of farina it can protect itself from direct sunlight but again after acclimation so if you are confused just look at the succulent if you feel that the succulent is very brightly colored you can go ahead and put it out in morning direct sunlight for five to six hours provided you have completely acclimated your succulent so it's pretty simple, uh, just segregate your succulents depending upon uh, where you are growing. If you're growing them outdoor, the most important thing you have to segregate them based on their dormancy and non-dormancy. And secondly, you can segregate them based on their color. If they're very brightly colored, they will be able to handle good amount of direct sunlight. If they are green in color, they will not be able to handle direct sunlight. So it's pretty simple. So guys, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.